everybody. We are doing our Happy Thanksgiving Day show because next week we are going to be busy up to here. So um, we're going to be doing some thanksgiving -y things. Yep. Yeah, I got to get the newsletter out and everything in it by Wednesday. She's so. booking. I got don't, the book to the printers. Don't talk to me next week. Just saying. I don't have time for appointments next Except week. Except I have my article that I need to send to her because she doesn't have it. And I have not even started. So don't talk to Lori one of those days. Don't talk to any, Don't talk to me. <laughs> Just don't talk to me. I did get a lot of it, like, structured yesterday. So really, oh, it's like plug-in. But it's still, it's always yeah. last-minute stuff. I need to watch you do that. You know, you never know what's down the pike. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I can't wait for the new person to take it back. I, it's not yeah. one of my favorite things to do. I mean, I I enjoy putting the events together and I enjoy making flyers. I do not enjoy making a 12-page She loves flyer. making flyers. <laughs> she likes making lists. <laughs> but not a 12-page thing. No. <laughs> that used to be my thing, too. I made newsletters for every place I worked for. Mm-hmm. And the old fashioned way, cut and paste, put it in, make a block, mm -hmm. page, I mean, a text box and stuff. So I'm kind of, you know, interested in learning this. Is now, it the same design or is it a different it's one? It's now? now in Publisher. Oh, Gabby changed oh, it over okay. to Publisher. So it's definitely a lot more user yeah. friendly. In design was a nightmare. Oh, that was terrible. As far as I was when concerned. Michelle left and I took over that one, that was, it took me twice as long to get it done. Yeah. Well, that's why I went from doing, I used to do my book in InDesign. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. So now I do it in uh, PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Turns out great. Yeah, it does look good. So You guys will be getting those the week of Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. So this big thing on the front here, this is a project that we did here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know that we do arts and crafts mm -hmm. because she is, cra what's your candle say? Oh, I can't say it, can I? No, it's a crafty bee. That's what She's Michelle a crafty gave me. witch. <laughs> anyway, so we did these, and um, I just think they're the cutest things they for cute. um, like a centerpiece, or I'm going to put it up on my coffee table. Um, very lightweight. Mm -hmm. They're foam, and you could poke holes in them. And needless to say, this one was mine, and um, it used to have an S because the original idea was to do your monogram. Mm -hmm. S's are not the easiest thing to do. I did it right the first time and then I embellished and it turned out horrible. So I added flowers. So it looks like a flowering cascade and a, you know, a gourd on top that can, you know, do its thing. Anyway, so that's an idea for your Thanksgiving day cornucopia. I used to make cornucopias. Mm -hmm. We should have do, maybe next week we'll do one. That'd be fun. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll take that down so it's not right in the middle of our eyeballs, but there you go. Hot glue, flowers from the Dollar's Tree, pipe and cleaners, pipe cleaners, balls from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I put a bunch of balls in there. That whole thing's Dollar Tree, except Dollar the pumpkin. Tree. Yeah. Where did you get the pumpkin? Joanne's. That was oh, the only place that had them. It's foam. Yeah. So it's very nice. So, and, oh, and colored pins. That's what we did the. Uh, Gabby actually got down. them from yeah. Joanne. She found a deal on them like in the end of August. Oh, nice. So we've got, um, here they've got out now, and it's just a little bite of what's coming Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. Are you a pecan pie or a pumpkin pie person? Well, I guess we make, we do pecan pie for Christmas. I make oh, chocolate yeah. pecan pie at Christmas. Oh. Um, so you put a layer of chocolate chips in the bottom and then put all your stuff on top. Oh. But I do pumpkin, um, but then I have a pie that I, when we were living in Chattanooga, there's a, a grocery store. They don't have them over here, but Publix. Oh, okay. Um, and they put out this recipe book at Thanksgiving time. Um, it was right after we had moved to Chattanooga. And it was for this cranberry cream pie. Oh, yum. And so I made it. And then ever since then, that's like one of Matt's favorite. And so oh. I make that with the pumpkin pie. I may have to get that recipe because I'm a cranberry girl. Yeah, it's really good. You It it has some cranberries in the custard inside. But then the, the yummy part is you, um, you make kind of like this sugary powder and put the cranberries in it. 
and then you roll them oh. and then you put those on top of the pie oh that sounds good well this is um we got these from ray's thriftway and you can do that now they just put them out so you've got your choice you've got your pumpkin pie bite and you've got your pecan pie bite now i've never eaten pecan pie at least i hadn't until my friend liz mm -hmm. shout out to liz lawrence um she makes pumpkin pecan pie oh yeah the, the combo oh, pie man that is so good and then mm -hmm. i was like why haven't i eaten that before because pecans are just tasty little nuts they are so anyway so we've got one of each which we'll be serving today at one o'clock for the friendly excursion trip presentation get it all out. edmund will be here <laughs> that was a mouthful so i thing. know so we're going to try to shoot this out by noon so that you guys can see it get here we'll talk fast okay. yeah we'll talk really fast um and come see the presentation he's going to be doing a little bit of on um the new orleans with the locals um, we have not closed that trip out yet, um, but it is due and we're looking for more signups. It is one of the funnest trips I've ever been on mm -hmm. because you celebrate with the locals. And then when the crazy people come, the locals leave and so do we. <laughs> so that makes it nice. And that is uh, February 6th through 11th. And then the other one is the Florida Keys. And we'll be flying into Florida. Mm -hmm going up to Miami, spending a couple nights in Miami, taking the fast train from Miami to Disney World. Mm -hmm. Then you get your choice of Disney World or Universal Studios. Oh, wow. I know. Oh, I picked Disney World. I, I haven't decided yet because my brother has projects at both. Oh, well, yeah. So whichever one Harry Potter is at, I think I might shoes I'm i think that's sure. universal isn't it i it don't think that's be. disney world but we'll be going also to cape canaveral and um some of the other some other wonderful places so that's going to be may 14th through the 21st and then we've got the smoky mountain adventure september 4th through the 13th mm. and that one we are doing uh nashville at the gaylord resort oh that'd be nice if you've never been there that is it's a beautiful resort oh it's fabulous it's like five resorts under one big glass dome mm -hmm. there's a river waterfalls you can take boat rides it's unreal and then uh, you Dollywood. might see some as we say you might see dolly party. <laughs> yeah well we're going to be in dollywood too yeah. gatlinburg yeah um, then we'll cut back and go to louisville um, in kentucky we're going to do some bourbon very nice um, distilleries Ooh, i know um and mammoth caves and then up to the Ark Encounter. So we get to see the Ark. Oh, very nice. At live. I mean, they built this thing. If you don't know what it is, Google it. It's incredible. So anyway, he's going to be talking about that. And then we may have some openings on the Greek cruise. We don't know. We'll find out when he gets here. So, Ooh. and then, of course, we still have for this year, New York or New Year's Eve in San Francisco. And that's a last minute. If you want to go with us to Monterey Bay and the... Um, Aquarium, uh, Carmel by the Sea. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do uh, the uh, wharf. It'd be kind of nice if it was still cleaned up. Mm -hmm. That's quite a thing. But we won't be down in Nastyville. <laughs> we'll be hitting all the good stuff. So anyway, one o'clock today. Be here. See, a lot so of times you end up doing San Diego or San Francisco yeah. for New Year's. Have you ever done New York? We have. We, in fact, we were supposed to do New York for New Year for Christmas. Uh, two years ago and uh, it got canceled mm -hmm. well actually why was it maybe it was clear back in covid maybe it was bc or hmm. pc not sure <laughs> anyway so um but yeah i would like to do that again we i don't think we'll ever do new year's eve in new york that would be crazy I would it expect. is crazy nikki went there once mm -hmm. and it was crazy so but we like to do go do somewhere that's got fireworks because this one has fireworks on the bay oh nice yeah so Anyway, come out and see what we got for next year. And yeah. Have some goodies. Make your make your vote pumpkin or pecan. I also and, have carrot cake. And if you're feeling in the giving spirit when you come here, we have yeah. a canned food drive that's going on till the end of this month. So all the canned food that we collect is going to go to Northwest Harvest. Um, I always love to bring an entire mm -hmm. truckload to them to help the community out. Um, and we also have our Toys for Tots drive going on right now. We don't have a box yet, but we will soon. And bring your toys un, um, unwrapped and unused. Yeah. New toys. New toys. We're getting quite a 
pile up over there. I know. I, we need a box. So we need a box. Work. Come on. And then this Friday, if you're not doing anything, come check out the ping pong tournament. It's one to four. Um, all the slots are filled. Uh, I had somebody call yesterday and it's like, no, registration ended November 3rd, just because we already had a fair amount of people. Yeah. Um, so come watch one to four ping pong tournament. It should be a fun afternoon. And, you know, if it goes really well, then we'll do it again. Yeah. Maybe twice. Yeah. You know, spring and a fall. Who knows? I'm playing. Yes, you are. I'm not. I'm not coordinated. Um, I didn't say I was coordinated. <laughs> I just started playing. I used to be good. That was. I was thinking about that. I was like, I used to be so good. I could play doubles myself mm -hmm. with both hands. That was in my twenties. <laughs> I keep thinking in my head I can still do that. So I also keep thinking I can roller skate, and that's just not going to ever happen again. But anyway, can't wait. I know. And then newsletter. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, the end of the year is going to be here before we know it. Christmas will be here before we know it. Um, Decorations so, are going up. Yeah, they are. I've been, I, my neighborhood, they've already been putting in. I swear it was like the day after Halloween oh, yeah. they started putting them up. But I feel like that this year. There's something like, I was not in the Halloween spirit as I normally am. I'm a big Halloween girl. Yeah. I'm a big day of the dead. We do a whole altar and all that. I was not feeling that this year. I was just ready. Like, let's just go to Christmas. I'm done. We're getting through the year. <laughs> yeah, there's some great decorations already going up around Kistler Park. Mm -hmm. And I think this year is going to be a really decorated year. I yeah. think people just want to go out and see some, you know, joy. You know, just lights. Lights make me happy. And Home Depot, if you I'm grew up in the, the 70s and 80s and 90s, 60s they have the plastic lawn light ups again yeah i had to explain to my children last weekend that <laughs> what they were that this is what mom had but it actually had a plug and a bulb up inside of it, yeah. it was an led and it had a giant cord that went to your house yeah and it was chained down to the ground because you know, and those things, those old ones now, they're worth money. Those um, what are they? There's a name for them. Um, uh, I'll Google that at some point. But there's a name for the old. And mom and uh, daddy Don used to have a whole bunch of them mm -hmm. out there. Just and I remember one Christmas, Al broke, I think his snowman, and dad, you could tell he was upset, but. Don always kept his cool. Mm -hmm. Mom lost herself a little bit. But when you found out how much it was worth, yeah. I could understand why she did. Because I was like, oh, I broke it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. They're expensive. They my my dad used to go all out. The front of the house had the lights. You had the whole manger scene in the front. You yeah. had the two toy soldiers at the front porch. You had Santa Claus and Frosty and Rudolph. There was a whole set out. In the I had there. the whole nativity scene. I wish I still had it, but it got left in San Diego when Al couldn't pack the view <laughs> all right. I had to say goodbye to Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. Oh, next to his barbecue because if they didn't go neither was his barbecue <laughs> so i was like bye-bye but yeah i'd like to get another one with the perfect thing. <laughs> that's, that's a whole story in itself <laughs> yeah well you know he, he, al's funny because he he has he doesn't have the best he can do he can build a house from the ground up most of the time but he doesn't have the best space to ratio mm -hmm. judge. And me being OCD, I mean, I could almost take it down to the millimeter. Mm -hmm. And so he says he's getting this size of U-Haul. Uh, and I said, well, that's not big enough. And he goes, I can make it fit. And going down to California, we had to leave a few things behind. Coming back up from California, I, I go out, he and this kid, Chris, they got it all packed up and he goes, okay, we're done. And I walk out and in my driveway is all of my stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, my Coca-Cola bears, I had the two, the mama bear and mm -hmm. the baby bear and two brand new uh, patio chairs that I'd gotten from one of my vendors at the mm -hmm. Dell, a number of things. His barbecue was in the, the thing I said, and my nativity. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, 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 no. If, if this has to stay, your barbecue is coming out to make room for my bears. Mm -hmm. 
So he did. He took the barbecue out, put the bears in, but nothing else could go. And other unless we had just unloaded the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So we got up there with the bears, but the barbecue and the nativity scene and my nice new chairs all got left behind. Well, so, yeah. Uh, plus a number of other things. I think I have a picture somewhere. It was, it was pretty sad. So anyway, I don't know where that was going. But there you go. I had a story for that. <laughs> oh, also we have wassail, which is really a fancy word for apple juice with nutmeg and cinnamon in it. And I it's didn't really have good. any cloves or I, sticks. If I had known you were doing cider, I would have brought you some. I didn't know until this morning when I picked it up. <laughs> I thought, ooh, let's make some hot cider. Oh, so, it's really good, though. I haven't had hot cider yet. Yeah, that's, I had some my first one last night. And it was like, mmm. It's so time. It's time yeah. for that. The boys have been wanting hot chocolate. Normally, Steve's my my cider guy, and mm -hmm. he's been wanting hot chocolate. So we've been mm. doing that rather than cider this year. But I'm a cider this year. I was hot chocolate last year. Just one of those things. I mm -hmm. do have a good recipe though, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. um, not next week because we won't be here, but the week after, um, I'm going to be putting together a hot cocoa dip. It looks so good. It does look good, <laughs> and it's super simple. I mean, it's stuff that you probably already have in your house. And what did you say that you use to dip? You can use fruit, or you can use graham crackers, or yeah. whatever mm -hmm. cookie you want to mm -hmm. put in there. Cinnamon graham crackers. Oh yeah, that would be good. Oh, that'd be really good. That'd be like a Mexican uh, hot chocolate. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's about all my my stuff. Well, I just had right now. You're, if you're anything like us, you're starting to put Christmas things together, mm -hmm. and you always forget the people. Like I don't know, your mailman or neighbors. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you're like going, oh, they come, they come walking across the street with something, and you, you're. I like to have in my spare room. A few things put aside. The oopsie gifts? The oopsie gifts. So this, I thought, was brilliant. Somebody made this for the bazaar. And um, it is the greatest, tr it's a great gift for your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Or probably not a little big for your mailman. I usually do the mug from the dollar store with mm -hmm. the cocoa and maybe a little bottle. Dollar Tree's got some great stuff. I was in there oh, last yeah. weekend. And kids, if you have grandkids, they have the cutest little stuff, Barbie clothes and shoes oh, yeah. and purses and little figurines of like all the Disney characters. Oh. It's, I mean, they have little chairs you can do for a dollhouse and beds and couches oh, and all that's that. Cool. Or your elves. Mm -hmm. But this is, <laughs> it's just your simple white bowl. I know it's from the Dollar Tree, because but those are, I still use my doll, bowls and plates from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what they're made out of, but they last forever. They do. And then it's got the little cozy underneath it, which if you don't buy them or you can get them at a bazaar, but they're so easy to make. Um, or take a look at Caffeine Creations on Facebook. Or where is a hat? Fuel, or where is a hat? That's what Dolly does. She thinks yeah. are, the bowl trivets are hats. Because you can put it in the microwave with this little bowl cozy. And then you can do, now this one's got love love of family and it's got little pumpkins on it so it's nice for thanksgiving but you do, you do christmas mm -hmm. a can of simply campbell's big chicken noodle soup the cellophane which i saw her shrink it up mm -hmm. with a, a this is kind of like a dryer. hotter a hotter hair dryer yeah then there's a spoon stuck right down through the bow I mean, is that not the cutest gift ever? And it probably costs about five bucks. You know what? And if you can't find the trivet, then go get a, a um, Actually, it's towel. not a trivet. It's because, not a bowl trivet? That's no. what I thought they were called. What are they called? No, they're bowl cozies. Cozies. Because they go in the microwave. Trivets oh, are those flat you things. Can, that... You can put that in the microwave? Oh, yeah. That's how you keep your bowl. For when you get it out, your bowl doesn't burn your hand. Oh, see, I thought it was for like not burning the counter. It's one, no. <laughs> it's it goes up around the bowl and it's um you learn you know something new apart. every day. <laughs> and and everybody's making them. I'm gonna show you. So here's the soup. See, I thought it was just like a trivet. You just put the bowl in it to keep it like from burning the counter. No. I'm gonna to have to rip it. Oh, she never picked the dice. Okay. 
Yes, this isn't going to anybody. <laughs> but so here, here it is. Or it can be a hat. Or it can be a hat. <laughs> but you put your bowl in it, and then you just put it in your microwave, blast it, then you can take it right out, hold it, and eat your food. That is so funny. I did not know you could do that. It is the coolest thing ever. I have a Seahawks one. I have a plaid one. I love, I have a Daisy one. But I gave me a couple of them and I've used them, but I've used them like when I make a large meal or something and I put the hot bowl in it. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. No, it's a microwave bowl cozy. So very cute little idea. Get the, and I think you can get these things here at the dollar store. And they're the plastic bags. You just put it in and then you, with your hot. You probably get the spoon and the bowl yeah, and everything. everything. But I mean, you could get a dish towel or an oven mitt to put in there if you can't find one of those. If for you somebody. can't, but it, it's definitely nice. Definitely nice. So anyway, there's a great gift idea for your neighbor, your, for the, for the oops gifts. So just wanted to share they that. They have some cute oops gifts at Walmart too. Like I do like that. They catch me every time. That cute little section, if you go to the far right of the store where the pharmacy is, oh yeah, there's a little section before you go to the checkout aisle, and it's got like just random one dollar to five dollar items. Oh, and it's great stuff. Like there's there's a couple things. It's like mini mini and mini mouse. Of course, I'm gonna notice that because of Dolly. Yeah, um, cookie cutters, and it comes with a mini and mouse and Mickey spatula. Just little five dollar gifts that like you could pick up. You really don't have to do much. It's all there. Yeah, you could grab a cookie mix, slap that with that, and you're done. Well, that's what um, Sherry had last year. Was you get the the mitt mm -hmm. or the the pot holder that has the pocket in it? Oh yeah. Put in a whisk, mm -hmm. a cookie mix. And there you go. Um, she makes those too with yeah. the little sayings on them. Those are cute. But yeah, or you get a basket, a little cheap basket and put stationary cards, um, a pen, just, you know, anything like that. And then wrap it up and it looks professional. So anyway, I'll, I'll look and see where those wraps are and I'll, you know, let you guys know not next week but the week after so yeah, we it get looked ready like for just, christmas it was a regular plastic wrap and she just shrunk it yeah with the hot why can't i remember blow dryer hair but, blow dryer it's but it was like one of those hotter ones the ones that they use um oh i'm afraid i would just oh i know what you're talking about the ones they use for uh card stationery uh, that does that glittery shimmery stuff they get a little bit hotter than blow dryers oh i yeah you're right because i remember seeing her do it and it was one of those which kind of has the coils right in the yeah. front. But if you don't have one, use your blow dryer. It just takes a little longer. Yeah. Or forget about it and just tie it up with a bow. It's perfect. Put it in a bag. Anyway, yeah. Put it in a box. <laughs> but there's a good... It's handed to the person. They probably won't care and just appreciate that you gave them something. Yeah. Stick the bow on it right here like that and go, here you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So... um. All right. Well, do we have anything else? I don't have anything else. I'm going to hurry up and get this out there. So yeah, people know about hope your you guys have a happy Thanksgiving one o'clock presentation. Yeah, one o'clock today. Next week, have a great time with your yeah. family. If you don't have family, make family, neighbors, um, or FaceTime them, or FaceTime. Yeah. So uh, one of these years, we're going to have a Thanksgiving here. I've done it before, and there's so much fun for those who don't have anybody. Oh, yeah. Some place to go. So a Thanksgiving potluck or something like that. Anyway, but not this year. So hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you on the other side. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.